and breaking down barriers. That's the goal of a new partnership between Tulsa police and their youngest citizens. Two News reporter Liz Bryant found the new program is not just an option. Some say it's become a necessity at a North Tulsa school. Well, Karen, the after school exercise program started in October. Just one kid showed up. By the end of November, six elementary kids came and now you won't believe the impact. While most kids wait in line to drive away from Sequoia Elementary, oh, snap! eight year old Sarah Peaster Come on. is just warming up inside. They let me play soccer and I sometimes beat my little brother at soccer anytime we play. Her coaches, Brandon Smith and Tim O'Keefe. Oh. Kids come up to me and say, Hi, hey, that's my teacher, that's my friend, that's my coach. They never say, Hey, that's that officer guy. Two told the police officers not just policing the area. Oh, now a part of it. We're at the house because somebody got beat up or somebody got robbed or something got vandalized. In this case, we're coming out here. We're just doing the exact same thing we are. We're getting hit in the head with balls. We're sweating. We're bumping into each other. And it's, you know, I think it breaks down a lot of barriers for us. True for Sarah's mom, who didn't like police after all her speeding tickets. I can't afford the soccer programs and all that other stuff. And so this is one way I can make all three of them can participate. One, two, three. Sequoia! It's an hour huddle every Wednesday with a runaway impact. So, like, they work for police stations and they work here? Cool. So they just want to keep it a secret where we, where we will not know? I guess so. Liz Bryant, 2 News, works for you.